Welcome to 13 Hour Time 62 Lego Set Reviews. This is set number 71002, Collectible Minifigures Series 11. And today we have the Constable. Ages 5 and up, we have, I think, 5 pieces in this set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces. Excuse me. And this is 8, um, this is 1 of 16 minifigures. And retails for about $3. It's now available starting this month, and I'm assuming through the rest of the year until December. So, let's take a closer look at our packaging. I have to tell you, I've had a hard time not finding the figure. The, the figure is actually easier to find. Um, I'd say the top three figures that are easy to find in Series 11, at least from the times that I've looked, the Constable, the uh, Female Robot, and the Mountain Climber. Those three on the package are the easiest for me to find. And, um... My, as I, as I like to include, the constable is on the package. The dot codes are actually harder to determine than the actual uh, packaging, you know, how it feels. So I would definitely go on the feeling the package, unless you look on another website that's highly reliable. I really couldn't figure out what the dot codes were here, because some of them looked small, some of them looked large. And I tried to go for the larger ones, but it, they were really close together. I felt around two or three in this section, and then two or three over here. So it really confused me on both sides of the package. So try your best with them, but once again, I recommend you go with just filling the package. Dot codes probably aren't doing too much. Uh, it does help a little bit more that you feel the package. Although I know Lego st strategy at this point, they try to pair up similar pieces in sets. So it makes it a little bit harder to find, depending on, you know, the texture. Here we have our checklist. Very nice green background, and I like green, so it's about time. We've already got a bunch of reds and blues, so now we got green. Or at least now we're getting a second green, actually, yeah. Our constable is number 15 of 16 figures, according to the checklist. And on the back, you can see his baton. You can see his hat in the corner. And, of course, the stand that's usually there. So let's take a closer look at this figure. I'll take out my stand for him. And we'll get a closer look. He's actually a very plain figure, but I like him a lot. I like the way that, um, you know, sometimes figures are used internationally. Uh, this one's actually not. This one is more British-oriented. Just like the Royal Guard, and um, there were some other British figures we've had before. I'm trying to remember which ones. The Royal Guard, definitely. The Businessman, to me, I thought of him as British. Uh, the Judge from Series 9, also British. Uh, the Businessman, I thought of as British because it reminded me right off the bat of your typical suit for Monty Python character. Like if he's in the city or something. Um, so this also is the reason why I got... The Constable, because the Constable reminds me of Monty Python. They do joke around with policemen, or use policemen in different forms in their comedy sketches. There's a closer look at his torso and his face. So we do get some nice printing, and I do like how they have the, um, the, what do you call it? The strap that carries across his face, and he also has a nice bushy mustache. So when you put the helmet on, it actually looks pretty good, having the, uh, the strap on his face. We also get some numbers on his torso. I can see on his collar it says 1337 on both sides. And on this badge it says JCF. Now we don't really have this figure in the character encyclopedia, since the Series 11 is not in the character encyclopedia. But I'm sure if there was another one to pop out, um, it would explain, you know, maybe it's one of the designers. Or maybe the 1337 has something to do with Lego history. I don't know, but that sounds interesting. This is one of the Army Builder figures you can get from Series 11. And I'd probably consider getting more of these because you can't just have one police officer looking like this. You should have a whole bunch of them. Maybe five or six. It would be a good small police force. Um, or if you want to make it any larger. 
But hey, they were $3 each, so you can't complain. Thanks for watching this review, and we will get to more LEGO minifigures in the future. So stay tuned.